you'll have to forgive me because I'm not feeling great right now. I'm sick. Anyways, the question, the comment was, what do you mean it's not what he's addicted to, it's the addiction? So you're, you responded to my video saying that what you don't like about other people is a reflection of what we have parts of ourselves that we don't like about ourselves. And your comment was that your partner is addicted to pornography. And so my response was, and so how is that a reflection of what what is parts of me? So my response was, it's not so much what he's addicted to, although that's important to set a boundary, but it's the fact that there's an addiction there, right? So addiction is what may be a reflection of something that you're addicted to, that you need to maybe look into. But more importantly, it's about how it's affecting you and it's about keeping yourself safe and the boundary is about keeping yourself safe so keeping yourself safe the boundary may look like walking away it may look like securing securing yourself getting support getting help so that you are not in this toxic relationship because that's what that's what i'm picking up on correct me if i'm wrong Okay, get help, get support, so that if you're exiting, then you're exiting peacefully and safely. But also, if you're able to have a conversation and he's willing to get help, that's also something you can do. And maybe, you know, you don't engage in with him physically, intimately, until he's able to get help or until he's, you know, tested or whatever the case is. Okay, a lot of, lot of, um, questions I have for you because you know there's so many nuances in any situation um, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram and we can get on the phone and have a conversation okay but I wish you all the best I hope that helps